Hey everyone, it's Tom here with thisonlineworld.com. Hope you're all having a fantastic day today. So 2023 is just around the corner and with a new year, there always comes some new and exciting opportunities. So if you're looking to potentially change your life or really shake things up in the new year, boy, do I have the video for you. Today, I'm covering five of the best online business ideas that you can start in 2023. These ideas are all perfect for beginners, can be done with no or almost zero startup costs, and they all have immense income potential and scaling potential in my opinion. Uh, but yeah, no more wasting time, let's get into the video. All right, so there's a good chance if you're watching this video, you have a smartphone and there's also a good chance that there are three different apps on that smartphone right now, those being YouTube, Instagram, and TikTok. And if you're on any of these apps regularly, you'll know that short form content is basically king these days. I mean, let's face it, people have really short attention spans these days. So it's that snappy short form content that is really doing well for creators and brands these days, pretty much anywhere people research things online. And that's where you, the new online business owner, steps in. So this first online business idea for 2023 is to start some kind of video ad agency that repurposes long form content into short form content. In other words, you can help exist existing brands, bloggers, influencers, even YouTubers take off by repurposing some of their best content into shorter form content that can do well on other platforms. Now there's already quite a few websites I found doing this in this space. And here's an example of one I found It's called chopcast.io. And so you can go through their website and you already see that they're charging $499 per month for a starter plan. And this includes one asset at a time in a two to three working day turnaround. So realistically, they're only making, let's say like maybe five to 10 pieces of short form content for a client per month. And that's $499 per month that they're actually getting back in revenue. And you can see some of their other tiers pay even more. And basically they're taking people's content and just repurposing it. So they don't have to do the filming. They don't have to do all of the hard upfront work and the research. They're just taking people's best clips and making them into different forms of content. And they're charging a pretty good price for it. And yes, I know this is a crowded space and people are piling in, but that really shouldn't worry you, at least for 2023, in my opinion, because the data shows that short form content really isn't going anywhere. In fact, in a HubSpot 2020 marketing industry trend survey, they found that more than half of marketers who use short form video plan to increase their investment in 2022. Meanwhile, 38% plan to continue investing the same amount. And the data is pretty similar for 2023. And the reason I really like this online business idea, especially for beginners is again, you don't really need much to get started. You need a laptop or computer that can edit videos. And that's about it. You don't have to worry about getting an expensive camera and filming content yourself because you are repurposing content for other creators and brands. Again, it's a crowded space. So you'll have to work to get your name out there and to actually get some clients. But once you find one or two clients, typically with this kind of thing, word of mouth can really carry you quite far. All right, and the second best online business idea that you can start in 2023 is a print on demand business. And I know print on demand has been around for ages. I know it's a very popular business model, but I'm gonna explain really quickly how it works and why I think it's awesome for beginners and it's still awesome in 2023 and beyond. So in a nutshell with print on demand or POD, as you'll see it called, you work with a manufacturing partner to make and ship products to your customers. So basically you create unique designs, you upload them to an existing print on demand product catalog. And then if you make a sale online on somewhere like Etsy or Shopify, your POD manufacturer is the one that actually makes the product and ships it to your customer. So right off of the bat, this is a very beginner friendly online business model because you don't really need to actually touch the products. You're never going to be making anything. You're not going to be worrying about packing and shipping and logistics. You just have to make designs, upload them to existing products, and then worry about marketing your store. Another reason I think this is a great online business idea is you don't need much money to get started because when a customer purchases a print on demand product from you, you get that revenue from the customer. You then use that money to purchase the product from the POD partner who then ships it to your customer and you pocket the difference. So yes, you might need a bit of money to start a Shopify store or to put your products on Etsy if that's where you're selling, but you don't need hundreds of dollars or thousands of dollars up front to actually purchase any inventory and you can get sales that actually prove your proof of concept. And now you might be thinking, isn't print on demand too competitive? It's too saturated. Why would you start a business in 2023? And while it is true that POD stores are a dime a dozen these days, if you catch the right trend or if you are creative enough, you can still make awesome money in this space. Just take a look at one Etsy print on demand store I found that has been doing great in 2022 and is probably going to keep going for 2023. The store is called Bullish Rhino Shop and they basically sell different custom blankets, throw blankets, pillows, and things like that with these unique designs and these little creatures on them. And the reason I know they're getting absolutely insane sales right now is because they signed up for Printify, a POD partner through my referral link, and I can actually see the revenue that they're generating. And let me tell you, they're generating a lot. They are getting tons of sales. They're doing incredibly well. It's large 
starts with your organic and social media channels and they're getting a lot of sales at the moment. And so yes, you need some graphic design skills or some basic Photoshop skills to kind of make unique print on demand designs like this and then upload them to products. But that is a skill you can learn. It's also something you can outsource on websites like Fiverr. You can get lots of cheap graphic designers who can still make very quality, you know, nice designs for you. And then, like I said, you can launch your print on demand store on Shopify for $29 per month. You can launch on Etsy for free. So there's lots of ways you can start selling print on demand products and Printify, the partner I mentioned is also free. I'm going to be linking them down below in the description box because I've used them before and they're my favorite POD provider. Marketing a print on demand store can also be free. You can use Instagram and post there. You can post on Reddit, Pinterest. You can just use Etsy's marketplace in and of itself to try and get organic traffic to your store. So in my opinion, it's a low cost, really exciting business idea that's still profitable and possible in 2023 and beyond. So definitely belongs in this video. All right. And number three on this list of the best online business ideas for 2023 is to start some sort of media outreach business. And so the idea here is actually pretty simple. You're basically being a middleman who connects content creators and business owners with different media outlets to help them get exposure. So this is actually a service I've been pitched so much for this online world and for this YouTube channel. And there's actually a lot of money on the table if you can start a successful business in this niche. So I'll show you an example. I found this website called podcastally.com. And basically what they offer is a podcast connection service for business owners and entrepreneurs. So if you're an entrepreneur and you have a shop that you want to promote, or if you're an entrepreneur and you want to share your story, they help connect you with successful podcasts to help get your message out there and to build an audience. In exchange for doing so, they're going to charge a monthly fee. There's plenty of other podcast connection type businesses out there. Some charge hundreds of dollars per month. Some charge thousands. It's really quite a range. It kind of depends on how they frame and package their services. But again, there's lots of these like B2B connection, middleman type services that match you to different media outlets. I've also seen this for a lot of other platforms. Like some people just do this for connecting YouTubers with other YouTubers and bloggers or social media profiles that they can promote their content with. I've seen people making money in this space by just offering blog guest posting outreach. I've also seen some really niche services like people doing Harrow outreach or help a reporter out. And they're kind of doing a backlink building service for different bloggers. The point is there is a lot of money on the table if you can successfully connect a content creator or business owner with something that helps them get exposure. Yes, it is a bit of a grind and you have to build out your network and database of you know podcasts and blogs and YouTube channels and everything that would accept these kinds of pitches from you. But again, lots of money here. People are paying hundreds or even thousands of dollars per month for this kind of service on a retainer basis. So I think it's not going anywhere in 2023 and it's a low cost, exciting business idea you can start. All right, and for number four, in my opinion, it's really not possible to make a video on the best online business ideas without talking about affiliate marketing. And so just to give you an idea of how powerful and important affiliate marketing is, in my opinion, here are a few stats on affiliate marketing from a website called Zipia. According to Zipia, 81% of brands around the world now have affiliate programs. 16% of global e-commerce sales also come from affiliate marketing and 81% of advertisers and 84% of publishers currently use affiliate marketing. In other words, affiliate marketing is absolutely massive. So you have to ask yourself the question, why wouldn't you try and get a slice of that pie in 2023? And what I really like about affiliate marketing is there are so many low cost, easy ways you can get started. I mean, you could start a very simple product review channel on something like YouTube, you know, review some of your favorite products in a particular niche and just link to them on Amazon down below in the description box with Amazon affiliate links. You could do something similar on Instagram, again, a review page or a product focus page, and then maybe build a simple lead page with like lead pages or some other kind of like one page website builder, where again, you host some affiliate links. Now, if you want to take this online business idea a bit further, you could consider starting an affiliate marketing blog. And I know this is a business model that still works to this day because this online world generates $10,000 a month or more in affiliate marketing revenue. And yes, it took over five years to get to this point for my blog, but the actual process of finding affiliate offers and promoting them is quite simple. And I'll take you through a really quick step-by-step -step guide on how I did this myself on my blog. So about a year and a half ago, I noticed that paid gaming apps were very popular. And so I started researching a bunch of them and I found one called CoinPop. It had 10 million plus downloads and a lot of people were searching for coin pop reviews or if the app was legit. And so I decided to write a review about it after testing out the app. And in terms of how I found this search volume, you can use free tools like Google Keyword Planner or Uber Suggest and just, you know, kind of get a sense of what kind of volume people are searching for and what topics interest different people. Anyways, I downloaded coin pop. I spent a day testing it. It was kind of an okay app. And I wrote a review on this online world.com documenting the experience. But throughout the review, I also plugged some different apps that pay you to play games like rewarded play and misplay. And I'm a partner for both of these companies. And I basically became partners with them by using different affiliate marketing networks. Affiliate marketing networks connect brands and bloggers like me to different products and services and you know let us promote them to get paid. So again, very simple process. I wrote a review after testing a product. I plugged a few affiliate partners of mine in the article that were good alternatives. And once the article started ranking and getting traffic from Google, people started converting and it makes me money every single month. So that's really a simplified version of how affiliate marketing might work on a blog. And again, it took years to build my audience and it took years to build credibility on the website so it would actually rank content on Google and people
people could find what I'm writing about. But that in a nutshell is the online business of affiliate marketing. And there's really no reason you can't start that business as well in 2023 and moving forwards. All right, guys. And so for number five on this list of the best online business ideas in 2023, it's just good old fashioned freelancing online. And there's really nothing complicated I can say here, but I want to reiterate that even though many freelancing niches are competitive, freelancing isn't going anywhere. More businesses are moving online. More businesses are going to need you know, highly skilled, ambitious, hardworking freelancers to help them scale and to help them with their different projects. And so I firmly believe as long as you can learn certain high income skills and you can work very hard, there's no reason why you can't start a online freelancing business as a very good side hustle or even as your full-time job and full-time income source. I've done this over the last two or three years with freelance writing. And yes, it took a long time to find my first clients and it took me time to raise my rates and to learn really what I was doing and how to properly invoice and how to get more clients and how to boost that income. But, but it is now one of my major income sources alongside blogging and YouTube. And again, there are so many different freelancing careers and opportunities you can explore. Like you could become a graphic designer, a web designer, a coder, you could be a virtual assistant, a video editor, like I mentioned. There's so many different niches that are always hiring freelancers. And again, if you work very hard, you hone your skills, I think there's lots of money out there. And a recent video I made on five common mistakes people make when trying to make money online really covers this topic in a little bit more detail and how you can get started as a freelancer without making some critical mistakes and kind of, you know, speeding your path up to actually making income. So definitely recommend checking that one out. Anyways, guys, that does it for five of my favorite online business ideas for 2023 that are once again, perfect for beginners. And I you know, think anyone can actually start. I really think that 2023 is going to be an awesome and exciting year. I know the market's a bit uncertain right now. Some people are worried about possible recessions or they're worried about spending slowing down or a lot of these things. But even in the face of all of that, I think the online world is going to chug forward. Spending will not grind to an absolute halt. And there's still money to be made with an online business, especially in the five niches and ideas that I outlined. Again, it's not going to be easy money. You have to put in the work. It might take a lot of time, but there is plenty of money out there. And I think the top percent of freelancers and online business owners should do just fine. Now, if there's an online business idea in this video, you're going to try, definitely let me know down in the comments below. Or if there's another idea you're kind of itching and exciting to start, I'd love to hear about it as well. That's really all for this one, guys. Thank you so much for watching. And as always, don't forget to check out thisonlineworld.com for more unique ways to make and save money. I'll catch you guys in the next one.